In this video, we're going to look at a couple of examples of definite integrals with integration by parts. So this first one, x e to the 2x, is evaluated between 0 and 1. So first of all, we need to write down what u is equal to and dv by dx. So using late, x has to be u and dv by dx will be e to the 2x. So du by dx will just be 1 and v will be the integral of e to the 2x, which is 1 half e to the 2x. So we can now use the formula. So this is equal to u times v, so 1 half x e to the 2x, evaluated between 0 and 1, take away the integral between 0 and 1 of v du by dx. So 1 half e to the 2x dx. So, I'm going to keep that in the bracket. Integrating a half e to the 2x is 1 quarter e to the 2x. I'm now going to bring those two brackets together. And now I can evaluate. So we've got 1 half substituting in 1, times 1 times e to the 2x, so e to the 2, take away 1 quarter e to the 2, take away, when 0 is substituted in, I get 0, take away 1 quarter times e to the 0, which is just 1. So a half e to the 2, take away a quarter e to the 2, is a quarter e to the 2, and then I've got plus a quarter. Okay, so you can write it like that, or you can write it as 1 quarter, e to the 2 plus 1. Okay? So either format works. Okay, so that's the first one. Now for the second one, x sine half x dx. So first things first, u would have to be x, and dv by dx would be sine 1 half x. So du by dx is 1. Integrate sine half x, and we're going to get uh, minus 2 cos of a half x, okay, because sine integrates to cosine. So this integral is u times v, so minus 2x cos 1 half x, evaluated between 0 and pi, take away the integral between 0 and pi of v du by dx, so minus 2 cos of 1 half x dx. Now we've got two minuses there, so they cancel each other out, become a plus. So I'm going to keep that bracket as it is. Now, 2 cos 1 half x integrates to 4 sine 1 half x, evaluated between 0 and pi. So I can bring those two brackets together, okay, and evaluate them as 1. So, okay, we have cos of pi over 2, okay, is 0, so this whole thing will be 0, plus sine of pi over 2 is 1, so we have plus 4 there. Take away, substituting in 0, this will be 0, and 4 sine of 0 is just 0, and so the answer is just 4. Okay? And that's how we can deal with definite integrals with integration by parts.